Hey, what up, America? This your man, Bouchon Glover, with A Better Black America TV, The B.L. Glover Show, and the A Better Black America podcast coming soon. Now, one thing that we got to understand moving forward, the country is in disarray. Now, with the B.L. Glover Show, Better Black America, the brand is entertainment, sports, politics, and money. So I'm taking meetings, and uh, we got to talk about the politics now because the politics is... Uh, it's not looking good right now. United we stand, divided we fall. And if we look at a particular party, the Democratic Party, uh, looks like they're imploding from within and we're looking at something that's not gonna happen and that's Build Back Better. Now, Build Back Better is, is one thing, but Make America Great Again is another thing. Now, Building Back Better, Making America Great Again. Now, Build Back Better is an indication that you have to break something down to its last compound to actually build it back. But why, while we're building it back, there's no way we can move forward because we cannot build back better because the foundation on building back is on shaky grounds. And it may never, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this again, it may never be where it's supposed to be for us to actually have a solid foundation to build back better. Now, if we were some inspectors, you know, building back better, you have to look at those situations and really understand. Now, if you have quicksand, you cannot build on top of quicksand. So it looks like the quicksand is, is, is sucking up the Democratic Party because there are conservative Americans, that's non-Republican, the swing voters and the voters that actually flipped and voted for Biden is actually having second thoughts. So if you look at the polls, the polls are astonishing. This is the worst presidency in American history. And if you look at the vice president, they call her the incredible shrinking VP off of a Lily Tomlin moving back in the early 80s. Now, Kamala Harris is irrelevant when it comes to American politics. Joe Biden is basically a puppet master and he's from the democratic dark past, Jim Crow Joe. But one thing that we gotta understand to move forward and I'm a represent, representative for black America because we're pushing back on African-American because African-American is an ethnicity which basically have no leadership and actually have no voice because the minor minority groups are controlled by liberals, Black Lives Matters, the uh, mainstream media, the whole nine. But the black man, this is our opportunity because we have been through some things and we have never you know, had these conversations outside of white America and outside of the female because the female, the black female, is basically she's empowered to basically bust up anything that we tr that we're trying to do and discourage us. But with that being said, we're moving forward because if you look at television right now and look at all the ads, this is you know the things that we see. We see a lot of our black women with white men, and that's okay. We see a lot of uh, black men with white women, and it's the cross referencing because they're trying to get rid of the black race and. The reason why no one wants to talk about critical race theory, and that means the Republicans and Democrats push back on critical race theory because of the word race. Critical race theory. Race is very important. So if you talk about race, then we have to talk about America's past. We have to talk about America's past. We have to talk about America's original sin which is slavery and is connected and embedded in the Democratic Party. And we see that to, to this day because you don't understand the truth. And what I'm doing for you right now, and I'm giving you information, okay? I'm not giving you, um, you know, my, my opinion. I'm giving you information so you can actually use, use this information and this data to actually make educated decisions moving forward so we can actually right the wrongs of the past. Now, Everybody pushed back on American first and make America great again. Ronald Reagan said, make America great again. And the first black president, which was Bill Clinton, and the beloved Bill Clinton, and he said, make America great again as well. But when President Trump said it, then they wanted to push back because Trump has nothing to do with the Democratic, Democratic South. He has nothing to do with slavery. So at the end of the day, the Democrats is the party, the lost cause is actually trying to blame everybody for any and everything for their shortcomings. Now, we have arrived, okay? The 400 year biblical prophecy has passed and we're standing on our blackness, okay? 
our entertainers are catching up. They're just looking for the layman's or they're just looking for the grassroots to actually catch up. And this is what we're doing. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, when was America great? Okay, I've heard this before. But before I say this, share the video, get this information to people who need it because they need to defend what I'm about to tell you. OK, because we never had it because we have so many unruly, rude, disrespectful, ignorant people willing to throw stones and fight over something that they don't even believe in because they're getting played and don't even realize it. So the question was asked, when was America ever great again? I've heard this many times. America was great in 1776 when she when 1619. I'm going to say this again in 1619 when she decided to document the transatlantic slave. So in 400 years later, we could fulfill the biblical prophecy. But for whatever strange reason, we pushed past it two years in. But we're delayed but not denied. Number two, when was America ever great again? In 1776, when the black man had to fight with the revolution, with, in the revolutionary war to actually defend this nation to send the British back. And I say this because it's documented history that Crispus Attucks was the first person shot in the revolutionary war in 1776. So moving forward, when was America great again? It was great again in 1865 when the Republican president, along with the abolitionist movement, Frederick Douglass, along as the Republican at the time, Harriet Tubman, the abolitionist, to actually emancipate the black slave in 1776. So when was America great again? Actually in 2016, when they defeated the Democratic Party. And actually, we saw how America first can actually be a superpower in this nation. But for some strange reason, the anti-American group, the immigrant group, the lesbian group, the gay group, the racist group, the former slave masters and the white supremacists, for whatever reason, decided to actually push back and to actually put us in a situation where we are living in a fraudulent atmosphere and things are going in a crazy way, in a crazy direction.